so. I had a look in his eyes. Yeah. That was weird. Tingles. Okay, so it's now the day after our trip out to St. Dominic's abandoned Catholic church. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We stayed at the Emily Morgan last night and today in San Antonio we are going to be checking out a few of the famous sacred locations in town. And then we're gonna be heading to the ruins of a mission outside of Menard, Texas tonight. And also stopping by a interesting prayer garden that we found online in Kerrville, Texas. Mm -hmm. But right now we're here at the Oblate Missions compound. This is a seminary, they have libraries here, um, a gift shop, tons of, dis or tons of different stuff on this property. But we have come to go visit the recreation of the Lord's Grotto, L-O-U-R-D-E-S, in France, where the Virgin Mary has appeared a number of times, and it's a grotto that supposedly possesses water with healing powers. They've recreated that here in San Antonio, and since we're interested in these apparition sites, who knows if, you know, those actually have ties to the paranormal, they actually happened it's crazy that these apparitions appeared to people whether they interpreted it as something that is different than what it was is a different story a different question but yeah what are you guys thinking right now um it's gonna be cool to see it um did you say it was missionaries from france that mm -hmm. came over here yeah it's very old apparently in the 1860s is when like this land was originally settled wow mm -hmm. It's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So obviously, if it had that much. Obviously, it was a very powerful place mm -hmm. in France, and it compelled them to come over and build another. Mm -hmm. Mass services are held here with over a thousand people. So. There's definitely, yeah, yeah. There has to be some type of spiritual connection to people that come here and stuff. So that'd be cool to see what's out there. Yeah, let's go see it. Yeah. Yeah, you can really smell all the scented candles. There she is. Lady of Guadalupe. Do you mind if I ask, what is the relevance of placing a candle on this specific? For the Virgin de Guadalupe who came to Juan Diego. And so everybody kind of has their own saint or religious, spiritual person that they pray to. Mine's Saint Jude, who's patron um, saint of Las Cadas. Mm -hmm. And then the Virgin just growing up. Virgin Yep. And do you place like a candle for yeah. like a specific reason? Mm -hmm, I do. Would you mind? 
Um, if I feel lost or if I have someone going through cancer or just different things like that. And so it's mine for her to stay over me during that time. I love that. Yeah. Wish we had a candle. They sell them in the grotto or in the gift shop there. Yeah, They're two fifty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So say a little prayer and ask for guidance or help or just um, watch over you. Perfect. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll have to go now. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. It's interesting. It's like non denominational. That is so pretty. So many people come here and like, put out their energy into it. Like you're saying, these people we talked to up there, like, they're going there for very personal reasons. And obviously, everybody else who comes here is coming there for a really personal reason and putting out an energy into this world. You can kind of feel it. Definitely, you can feel it. Well, it should be noted also, this is interesting, that here's the grotto right here mm -hmm. to the left, and like literally right across the street, there's a big cemetery. Yeah. So we're gonna go walk through that right now quick and just check it out, because I don't know what it is. Wait, so are all of these people the priests and religious officials? Father, yes. brother. I've never been to a cemetery like this. Yeah. It's like literally priests, brothers, brother and father. Listen to that wind in the tree. It's the Centennial Memorial of the Deceased Oblates of the Texas Province. Yeah, these are all the people that worked here and I guess died here. It's just crazy to me being here because I've never been in a cemetery that was exclusively religious leaders. And when you think about it, these people would have trained here on this campus probably lived here and then you know after they came here obviously they weren't born here but then they would have died here so it's like their whole life cycle pretty much was lived out here and they devoted their whole lives to this area so some of their energy has to still be around somewhere but it's a very quiet calm place it's like mystical almost yeah 2018 oh this guy was just buried wow Edward Michael Ward. That's crazy to think about. There's a long life. So there has to be something to 
all religion, whatever religion you are. I'm talking about the energy of it all. It's there. That's what people tap into, I think, with their prayers and everything. But weird to be able to just feel that. So here's a list of the oblates that are buried outside of San Antonio. There's a lot in Brownsville. Look, in France. Yeah, and then, like we said at the beginning, France. Lost at sea. Really? Where? There oh. Now. Wow. That sucks. 1856. Jean-Marie Verde. Poor guy. What do they mean? Are we like spirit? spirit? It's almost like the spirit coming out of them. Yeah. The Holy Spirit. I wonder if there's as many weird white walls as there are people. In the what's, in, what's interesting is that these people are probably the ones that are buried in that cemetery right there. Right there. Too. Right there. Those are the oblates. Nick and I oh, right now, Nick and I both bought bottles to hold our holy water. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna fill these up and then bring them to the investigation tonight and see if that activates any sort of energy. We're gonna light our candles. So I'm just going to say a basic prayer for mm -hmm. maybe an open gate and some sort of energy to come make its presence known to us tonight. So yeah, I'm going to do that right here. interesting. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Merry Christmas. God bless. Yeah, I said I it's want. It's very dark over I here. I want a sign of something after this light. I want to see proof. Dude, oh, this road trip is getting trippy, man. Mm -hmm. There's something to it. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just pray. I don't pray. That's. I've never heard you even talk about wanting to pray. It's so weird, it's almost at like a wing position. Like right here, right here. 
That is interesting. Well, good afternoon. Merry Christmas. God bless. How bizarre that right when we would light those and ask for a sign, a random person would just come down and yell at us. Yeah. What did he say? Uh, God bless. Or good evening, y'all. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. God bless. God bless. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. First time anybody's come kind out of the way to talk to us. Yeah, right it's been very quiet. Everyone's minding their own business, and keeping that, to the zone. Had a look in his eyes. Yeah. Like, truly. See, I was this I, lighting. I, I prayed for a sign or whatever. I was putting my thoughts and energy that I wanted to sign and see the truth that all these other followers really see behind it and grasp their understanding. That was true. That was weird. And he was just looking at me with like, he had those eyes, mm -hmm. you. God, it was piercing. Yeah, you see that? It was piercing. Like, mm -hmm. You saw that too? Yeah. Like, literally, God bless you. Mm -hmm. Like, looking into my soul. Yeah, I saw it. Once we lit the candle and I finished the prayer. Wow. I want to so light my amazing. candle. Yeah. That's your turn to light your I want to light my candle. So, my whole life, I pretty much grew up Christian. But as I've gotten older, I've kind of fallen off the path so and I believe there's something to it but I pray that whatever there is that I will see that and feel that again well yeah. make the make the So, here we are in the Lord's Grotto. We're gonna continue our exploration of just Christian apparitions and faith in Texas for our Christmas special by heading to the oldest cathedral in America. So, yeah, we're done here at the Grotto. Thank you to anybody that came through, to any energy. It's weird, I feel weird, I like feel an energy. I do too. Me too, we connected with it. I also have the energy of a dehydration headache. Yes. Piercing my head. I need some holy water <laughs> that I can drink. <laughs> I saw people were drinking. A woman put it on the street. Really? Yeah. Should we drink I'm some holy no, water? I'm going to skip on that. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go check that out now. Yeah. It's been really enlightening. Yeah. A good Christmassy trip. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's different vibe than what we're used to. Weird. I just feel like the energy. It's very really positive. Yeah. But it's like it's so strong that I'm almost like dizzy. Yeah. Like yeah. when I'm here, like I'm like dizzy. Like fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy y'all say that because now that y'all say it, I'm like, oh, I feel the exact same way. And you're like, San Antonio right off the river walk and we actually came down here to visit the San Fernando Cathedral. This is the oldest cathedral in the entire United States of America. It's a very historic place and it holds a lot of relevancy in, to the religion of this area. It's obviously very old, it's extremely ornate, it's beautiful in there and there are also some people buried in the walls. Now I couldn't find online if this is concrete or not but I read that a number of people were actually buried in the walls of this old cathedral because it's been standing so long and that was kind of one of the practices back in the day. But it's supposedly very haunted and obviously it's 
integral to the story of Catholicism and Christianity in this region because it is the oldest cathedral in the entire United States of America, extremely historic. However, sadly, when we showed up here tonight, it seems like they're having some sort of an event in the building at 8.45 and it's like 5, what is it right now? 5.40. It's 5.40 right now. So we need to get to Menard to go visit the mission. So we're gonna have to just leave without seeing the cathedral. But we're gonna give you some outside shots of the building and yeah, leave you at that because it's just such a historic place and it's so beautiful. But once again, who knows if there's this energy here. If maybe these people worshiping here for so long has left an imprint on the building and the area around it. Maybe a portal to the other side is open right here. Battery's almost dead. No. Oh, well, right there, the battery's about to die. Mm. Strangely enough, right when I said that. There's a serenade slash like praise song event going on. That's what uh, that means. Serenade and praise event. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll just walk around, look at it, and head to an art. What do you guys think of the building? It's very beautiful. Yeah, it's really old. You just tell just by looking at the stained glass that you can see the age mm -hmm. in it and just everything. It has a really old look. That's not like most churches, like modern churches built in the U.S. now. Not at all. It's really interesting. It reminds me of a lot of churches in Europe when I went on my school trip. It's definitely, so same old. here. Yeah, exactly. The Gothic architecture, exactly. Spanish influence yeah. too. Yeah, you don't really see many churches like that. Do you guys no. think that these type of buildings like churches could retain some of the energy from the praying and the worship and everything? Oh Absolutely. yeah, especially if they're burying people in the walls of these things that dedicated their whole lives to it. They're going to have that energy in them. It always will be. And if they're kept here, it will be there forever. That's my opinion on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool building. It's beautiful, man. What does it all mean, though? Right when I said that, the other light turned on. Look at that. Right when I said that, dude. It's not like they're like testing those lights. We've seen the cathedral. We couldn't go in. Lights flickering were kind of weird, not gonna lie. Just all these weird synchronicities, but we're gonna take off to Menard right now and head to this mission where we're gonna be spending the night. Okay. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Oh, I had a look in his eyes. Yeah. That was weird. Tingles. Father Jose was found decapitated in a praying position. 45 of her second prayer. The lady in blue appeared right here on the banks of this river. Spiritual value. Point two right here on the bank of the river. Well, there's a church right there. It's a lot quieter in here. I honestly might be related to these guys. It was like some kind of pews. Our Father who art in heaven. Ten point. I've never seen a jump like this around. I hear creaking. There's literally a ghost tour going on. We saw someone in a white coat walk by us. Then we both look. The guy disappeared. My body just feels. I know. My feet feel like stuck to the ground. I just heard a weird noise. I'm struggling just to talk right now. This is like one of the oldest Lutheran churches in America. See that light flicker? 